हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम लास्ट टू और थ्री वीडियोस वी हैव बीन लर्निंग अबाउट दिस एसी इंडक्शन मोटर्स एंड द डीसी मोटर्स वी हैव सीन द कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ द मोटर्स एसी मोटर्स एंड द डीसी मोटर्स वेल फ्रेंड्स इन द केस ऑफ दिस ए मोटर्स लाइक इफ यू लुक एट द कंस्ट्रक्शन थ्री फेज पावर सप्लाई इज गिवन टू द स्टेट वाइंडिंग The stator winding produces the rotating magnetic field, which drives the rotor shaft. The speed at which the rotating magnetic field rotates is known as the synchronous speed. But over here, the speed of the rotor will be less than that of the synchronous speed. The magnetic field will try to pull the rotor, but the rotor speed cannot cope up with this synchronous speed. Like rotor speed will be always less than the synchronous speed. this particular difference in the speed of the rotating magnetic field and the speed of the rotor is known as the slip this slip you occurs in the case of the induction motor and this just because of this slip the it reduces the power factor of the motor the power factor will be less than 1 over here this slip will be around 0.3 to 3% that depends upon the type of the motor its construction and the number of poles well friends to reduce the slip and to increase the power factor we need to rotate the rotor into synchronization with the rmf the rotating magnetic field we need to uh, rotate the rotor rotor shaft in synchronization with the rotating magnetic field but how can we do it by implementing a synchronous motor over your friends in case of the synchronous motor the rotor shaft will rotate within in the synchronization speed it rotates in the synchronization with the rmf rotating magnetic field so ultimately the shaft will produces the higher speed the shaft will produces the rotating its the shaft will produces the synchronized speed over here the power factor will be unity and slip will become zero so friends over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the synchronized motors it's uh, like working principle that just we have seen and uh, it's uh, overall construction and the application part so friends please stay tuned till the end and please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenius academy over here on my educational channel i do uh, make videos regarding the engineering topics and some of the educational brainstorming videos i do make so friends please do subscribe and please press the bell icon so let's begin with our today's topic of the synchronous motors so friends as i said earlier over here in the case of the synchronous motor the rotor shaft rotates within the synchronization that is the uh, within the synchronization of the rotating magnetic field it means the speed of the rotating magnetic field and the speed of the rotor is the same but how can we achieve it like what is the construction so first if we look at the construction over here guys this particular image shows you the construction in case of the stator windings the construction is similar to the induction motors like the three phase power supply is given to the stator windings the stator winding produces the rotating magnetic field that drives the shaft okay that's it but over here the biggest game changer is nothing but the my rotor shaft this particular rotor shaft can be either an electromagnet or it can be either the permanent magnet in case of the permanent magnet like it is having north south pole but in case of the electromagnet we need to make it into we need to turn that uh, we need to make that particular electromagnet over your friends in the case of the synchronous motor this electromagnet or magnet it is continuously supplied with the dc power supply such as in case of the dc motors like we have used the brushes or slip rings to make uh, to give the power supply to give a constant voltage a constant dc voltage into the rotor okay so friends uh, the dc voltage is given to the rotor and in the stator there is always like a magnetic field is produced the rotating magnetic field is produced so friends over here the two magnets are pre present in this synchronous motor 
the one magnet that is just because of this stator and the second magnet that we have produced that is in the rotor so these two magnets north pole and south pole north pole and south pole of the stator north and south pole of the rotor will try to coincide with each other so when the north pole of the rotor will co gets coincide with the south pole of the stator huh? so in this particular position we can say this uh, rotor and the stator gets synchronized and at this particular point we can achieve the synchronous speed we can achieve the rotating magnetic field the speed that is the synchronous speed we can achieve that is the higher level of the speed but how can we achieve that usually guys this particular synchronous motors are not the self-starting one we require some of the additional uh, like the motors over here it, the additional motor can be the dc motor or it can be the induction motor so why is that so why do we require the external forces to get into the synchronized position so friends like when we turn on this dc supply and the ec supply ec main supply like the magnetic field gets induced in the stator and the magnetic field gets induced in the rotor as well so the rotor will start rotating but there are less chances of the synchronization over here the synchronization won't happen just because yes, suppose like, my rotor just started rotating just started spinning now suppose if the stator's south pole is there at one instant stator's south pole is there at one instance and rotor's north pole just crosses by from the south pole so over here it will attract towards the south pole but just because of the inertia of the rotor shaft it will go first it will get attracted and then it will get repelled up just because of the inertia so usually friends over here in a synchronous motor initially the frequency of the ac supply is less so that the rotating magnetic field will rotate at the lesser speed and once the speed of the rotor and the speed of the stator like it's uh, it gets matched and once the north pole of the rotor coincide with the south pole then the motor will be regularized in a, at a normal speed so then only we can achieve the synchronous speed so friends this is nothing but the working this is nothing but the construction and the working of this synchronous motors and to get into that synchronized position we do require some sort of the additional forces the additional starting motor we require so friends i hope you understood the concept of the synchronous motor these motors are not the self-starting motors well these particular synchronous motors are used into some of the applications where a constant and the precise speed is required synchronous motors are used in the ball mills watches record players turntables and in some of the robot actuators for this precise movement we well friends this type of the synchronous motors are generally suited to driving the higher loads at the lower speeds and a constant speed output will be getting in case of the synchronous motors example in case of the compressors reciprocating pumps crushers rolling mills pulp grinders etc well friends over here the advantage is that we can uh, vary the power output and we can vary the power factor of the motor by controlling the input current which is given to the stator winding it is having a very high efficiency and a constant speed so friends this is all about the synchronous motor i hope you understood that synchronous motor and it's uh, overall working so friends if you having any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel ingenious academy also guys uh, please do support my educational youtube channel ingenious academy on patreons.com you can be my patron and please do support my educational channel so link is given in the description please check it out so thank you so much friends for watching this educational video keep supporting